Hello everyone, my name is Karine Coral, a student of biotechnology engineer at the Universidad Estatal de Milagro. Currently in the sixth semester in the subject of industrial microbiology cursing B1. Homemade microbial ground medium for petri dishes. Okay. In a microbiology class, one of the laboratory activities that we do is enumeration of microorganisms from the environment. It means that we will try to run these microorganisms in a place so we can visible in them. We know that microorganisms are not visible to the naked eye, except, of course, with the aid of microscopes. But if we run them um, on a solid medium, they form a colony with thousands to millions of bacteria, so they become visible to our eyes. In this video, I will teach you how to make a homemade warming medium in a non laboratory environment. Okay, the equipment and ingredients you can need this experiment include 500 milliliters of water. Three pouch of gelatin, one chicken volume cup, two mixing bowl, cotton swabs, lab coat or apron, gloves, face mask, casserole, sponge, six petri dishes, one measuring cup, six candles, syringe and one carton boot. First step. We are going to sterilize our work table with alcohol. And we are placing six candles around it. Also, we are going to sterilize all the materials that we are going to use. Second step In a bowl with 250 ml of boiler water, we are going to put our three pouch of gelatin and mix until everything is dissolved. Third step In other bowl, we are going to put our chicken volume cup and mix for three minutes. And mix our solution in a bowl, the mixer will become our culture medium, that is our agar. Fourth step. In this step, we are going to need our six petrichers, our culture medium and syringe. Next, we are going to put our culture medium in the petri dishes. Finally, we are packing our petri dishes in a plastic sleeve. Once packed, we refrigerate it for two hours. Two hours later, we re-sterilize our Work table and we are unpacking. Then, with a cotton swab, we are taking a sample of the different objects and we are culturing it on our agar or med culture medium. After the process, we are storing our samples in a carton box for 48 hours. In these hours, our bacteria are multiplying and forming 
colonies results in the first plate we have the mouth sample and we can observe that there is present of staphylococcus aureus in the second plate we have the rumor control sample and we can observe that there are two bacteria present, the Staphylococcus aureus and the Escherichia coli. But also they are present of phages. They are a virus that infect a bacteria now as Escherichia coli. And if there is a presence of bacteria, they break them and make holes. We have the cell foam sample in the third plague as well. We are observing the same bacteria as the second plague and also we are observing that the phages are present. In the fourth plague we have the help on samples. We are only observing the Escherichia coli and the presence of the phages. In our face plate we have the lepto samples. We select samples of the display, the cable, and the case. We are observing that in the three samples, they are Staphylococcus aureus present. And only in the sample of the display, the Escherichia coli is found. And finally, we have our control plate, where we did not inoculate any microorganisms, and we are finding it clean. It means that we have the correct agent. We are preserving that the result of all our samples. And we can see the presence of Staphylococcus aureus in most of our samples. And they are very common in the domestic environment like the Escherichia coli.